Spirits, it's Mary again, this time without my guitar. Now, some of you might know that I run Ubuntu, a Linux-based operating system, on my computer. And for those of you who have no idea what that means, this video is for you. See, I want to explain what Linux is in easy, simple to understand terms, Bill Nye the Science Guy style, for those of you who have no idea what it even is. But before I get into it, let me just give you a disclaimer. I don't know what I'm talking about and I don't expect you to know what you're talking about either. Some of you might be computer science majors, and some of you might not know the difference between Wi-Fi and dial-up, so just for the purposes of this video, I'm going to assume that I'm talking to my mother. Also, I can't guarantee that any of this is going to make sense. So... Anyways, let's go over the basics. The first is, what is an operating system? You might not know it, but you're already familiar with two different operating systems. Windows and Mac OS X. So now that you have an idea what we're talking about, an operating system is software that provides an interface between hardware and user. Um, what? Okay, so basically it's the go-between. The middleman that takes what you say and then relays it back to your hardware or your physical computer. It's what makes everything work. Without your operating system, your computer is just a bunch of plastic and metal pieces. Okay, so is Linux an operating system? No, it's a little bit more complicated than that. Linux is a kernel of code. In computer speak, a kernel is the most important part of your operating system. It's what connects the software to the hardware. The Linux kernel was written in 1991 by a guy in Finland named Linus Torvald, or Linus. I don't know, we would pronounce it Linus, but he's from Finland, so it's different. Eventually, the Linux kernel became a group project with a bunch of people contributing to it, and it's been growing ever since. In 1994, the Linux kernel contained 176,250 lines of code, and now it contains over 13 million. Now, the great thing about the Linux kernel is that it's open source, which leads us to our third question, what is open source software? If software is open source, it means that its code is open to the public. Anybody can see it, anybody can use it and modify it for their own means. Now, usually it also means that the software is free, funded by contributors rather than by sales. Windows and Mac OS X are closed source software. Microsoft and Apple make money from their sale. Their code is like Coca-Cola's secret recipe. It wouldn't be good business to let other people see it, because then other people could replicate it. Linux is open source. Anyone can see it and anyone can use it, which leads us to, what is a Linux distro? A Linux distro, or distribution, is an operating system that uses the Linux kernel. There are a lot of them. I mean, a lot. There are distributions for everything from desktops to mobile phones to tablet devices. So, is Linux easy to use? Now, this depends entirely on what distribution you choose. Some of them are catered more towards programmers and hackers who understand code and how to run things from the command line, and other are made specifically to cater towards new users and to be more user-friendly. Generally speaking, the consensus is that Ubuntu is one of the easiest to use distributions. Now, that being said, even your easiest to use Linux distribution usually isn't going to be as easy to use as, say, Windows or Mac OS X. It isn't plug-in and play compatible. There's usually some tinkering you have to do once you install the operating system to get everything working properly. This means that if you're the kind of person who gives up immediately when you have a computer problem and takes it to the Genius Bar or to the Geek Squad, Linux might not be the best idea for you. See, we don't have Geek Squads or Genius Bars. We have online forums. So when you have a problem, the first thing you do is you Google it. And if you can't find an answer that way, you post a message on a forum. There's a huge community of really, really helpful people out there who will usually reply within a day or two. Basically, when your computer has a problem, it's up to you to solve it. Okay, so why should you use a Linux-based operating system? Well, my biggest thing was that it's free. I was using Windows Vista and my computer was getting really slow. I'm a very impatient person and I don't like defragging, so I got kind of sick of it and I started to look into what this Linux thing was. And when I realized that it was free, that was a no-brainer. Windows 7 it was about $70 when it first came out, so... I mean, free versus $70, free every time. Another good thing about Linux-based operating systems is that they're very secure. There are no viruses actively infecting Linux computers, so you don't need antivirus software. They're also extremely stable. They very, very rarely crash, and for this reason, a lot of servers out there run Linux. And this brings us to why shouldn't you use a Linux distribution? There is a ton of software out there that doesn't have a Linux build, meaning it won't run on your computer if you have a Linux-based operating system. If you really rely on iTunes, Netflix, Photoshop, or you're addicted to any form of PC game, such as World of Warcraft, Linux probably won't work for you. That being said, if you're still curious, you can try Linux without installing it on your computer. Just go on the website for whatever distribution you'd like to try, and there will be instructions on how to create a live CD, which you can run the operating system off of. 
Thanks for watching, rate, comment, and subscribe.